Pit Legends and welcome back to the video and today we've got a delivery from Slot Sceneries. You may have seen them on the channel before, we have spoken about them. Here they are, we've got a box of goodies, there it is, Slot Sceneries, available from Hobby Classics by Terra Tribe Scenery. What is this brand all about? Well stick around, we've got a box of goodies to get through, we're going to build them, we're going to find out what is Slot Sceneries all about. Let's go. So before we get stuck into any building, let's have a look at what is in this box of goodies. And I'm gonna quickly explain to you how this video is going to run. First, we're gonna dive in here and have a look at what we've been sent. It is a box of mystery, which looks pretty cool. There's some items in here I can't wait to have a look at. Then we're gonna take each individual item out. We'll look at the pieces that come in it. When they're with magic, they'll be built in front of your eyes. But let's first have a look at what they've sent us because it is a box of goodness. So Slot Sceneries, check out their website and straight away we've got some signage for around your track. It looks like to be some kind of rally track. You've got your stop, your timing board, fuel, and that's supported by some plastic feet. And it feels like good quality. These are all press outs. So I guess a little bit of glue will go a long way with this project. We've got ourselves a burger hut, I will call it. We'll build that as well. I think the print on these look pretty special. I like that, it looks like it's worn. Got our first hut. Oh, second hut is our Marshall's box. That is pretty cool, it's got a bit of a dog leg on it. Maybe that's like the opened area. Again, the print looks really well done and a little bit of glue and hopefully she is done. Something a little bit different, this is a car resting or template where you sit your car on top. I'm just trying to feel if there's a slot cut out. There isn't for this one, but this looks like a Nürburgring style piece of road. I like how it's got their own branding. That is really cool. The um, quality is good, I have to say, very good. The next one, what is this? Ah, another printout, and this one's got the slot cut out, and we're on a gravel road. And the quality of the, the design, I guess you could say, the picture that they've used or the design, is pretty realistic, so that is cool. So we will test that with 132 and 124. Got a couple of signs in here, look like these are the almost like rally style signs that you see at the start gates and the finish. The slot scenery is branded, that's cool with some plastic feet. Again, very quick and easy to put those together, we'll probably do those in real time. Uh, Hobby Classics one, another version, and a recommendation. Would it be good to see if you can put your recommendation in for your own branding? So when you're ordering it, you upload or you request that they print out this on there or that on there. That might be cool, but there you go, Hobby Classics. You want that around your track. What else do we have? Some more signages. These are all press outs with the Hobby Classics, Pennzoil and Bridgestone. And the quality is really good. Now it's not wood. It is like a PVC style board or similar. I'm not too sure what the makeup is, but it does feel good quality. Some more plastic feet. Let's grab another run of those. Hobby Classics, Mobile and uh, Ferrodo. Again, some more plastic feet. Of course, we'll build them in real time. Not everything is a hut. Now, I did open this one up before, I think. I think I heard something rattling around, so this one was opened. Let's have a look, what is it? It looks like some kind of refreshments, refreshments bar. So it looks like that one's ripped apart, but that's okay. I did hear something rattling around. I wasn't the gentlest with the box. Next, we've got another set of borders or signage. Ferrado and Shell. Again, I'm impressed with the print quality and they're still in their packet. Some more of these rally style barriers. We've got the Hobby Classics again. Should I see a, that slot car guy one? That'd be pretty cool. Maybe not. <laughs> ah, we'll get some road signs. Stop, speed hump. This is good for another rally track. If you've got a single lane rally track, there's your 3D printed, I'm guessing, support arms that you'll just glue these onto. That's cool, really cool. What do we got here? Directional, oh, it's, the supports are in the way. The directional signs, again, you can probably push these out and cut them to size on how tall you want them. And then a little bit of glue, and I were using some thin, oh, so, sorry, some medium CA uh, icky sticky hobby glue when I'm putting all these together. Ah, oh, our stopping boards, this is cool. I do like this, 50 meters, 100 meters, 150, 200, 250, again, that will come in handy. I, I would like to put, probably put these on the side of my track on the barrier wall. These have feet that you can rest them, again, probably for a rally track. They're very rally focused, but let your imagination go wild. And we've got some long boards here. 
press out and some short ones. So we've got the shell in black and white. I like that, very retro, black and white. And the support arms, and what else do we have? Got some stickers in here, I love my stickers. Uh, thank you, oh, no, not a problem. Thanks, Legends, a nice little uh, thank you letter there. And last but not least, the Tiny Customs 64 by Slot Sceneries. So I do love my stickers. So there we go. Let's get stuck into it. The stuff that I have to physically build, which will take time, a lot of time, I'll do that with a bit of a magic click. The other stuff that we can just do straight away on camera, we'll get that done uh, instantly. But let's go, let's build. So now it's time to put these products to the test. Now with the buildings, I'm not gonna build them uh, in real time. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So with some magic, I will show you then finish. But let's have a quick look at a couple of the pieces. I just actually wanna show you the print quality of how they come out. And it's pretty realistic. I'm a big fan of what they've done here. The product feels very sturdy. The print is really good. But instead of building this live on camera, with a little bit of magic, it should be finished now. And here it is, the little Marshall's hut. I believe I've made it correctly now. I have left the door off, you can put the door on, and I have left the windows off if you want to have them sort of hitched up or covered. I've left it open like this. A little confusing spot here. I don't know if I've done that wrong. I couldn't find any pictures of it. But as you can see, the print on this one has got the moss upside down. So I don't know if I've done that wrong, but I can only see it going one way, which will be, I guess, if a little man stands here, or tries to, let's try on this guy, they can sort of see outside the hut. But there you go, the Marshall hut, really cool. What's your thoughts? I think it's awesome. So next up is the burger, I'm gonna call it the burger barn or the burger hut. Some of the prints on this look pretty good. Let's crack it open and have a look at a couple of the pieces and then like magic, we will get it done. Ah, this looks cool. Yeah, the print on these, it looks good. It looks really good. So just like before, now you see it in pieces. Now it's finished. And here it is, the Burger Hut. This thing is pretty cool. Now I do have a couple of questions uh, and point out some ideas here. The edges are white, as you can see where the joins are. I mean, that's not a, a real killer to me. You can give a bit of a touch up if you want, but I think it, it looks okay. Uh, the rear here isn't printed, and I don't know if I made a mistake. I'm gonna show you underneath quickly. That's not printed, but if you look inside, and I hope it will show you, you do have floorboards in there, which are meant to be shown. So I did flip it around and try and do every single way to make the back printed door, if you can see here, it's like a wood door printout. I would expect that to be here, but I did flip it, turn it, and the only way I can get the print on the rear is if I turn the floorboards upside down. So I'm not sure if their intentions were to have the wooden structure visible through it. I actually like that and not worrying about the back of it. Um, I'm not too sure, but either way, I like it, I think it looks cool. The product is well built. You put a little bit of glue, put it together, it fits together easily. I like it, so there you go. There is the Burger Hut. Let's put that down and let's move on to the next one. So next up is the Refreshment Hut. And now looking at the pieces, I think it's gonna be very similar to the Burger Hut. So let's quickly take it off and have a look at some of the prints. Let's go with the, I believe that might be the floor or the roof. And as you can see, the print is really nice. As we did before, let's get all the pieces together. And the next time you see this, it will be together. And here is the refreshments hut. It looks pretty cool. Again, same quality of print, but I've built this one a little bit different. As you can see in the back there, it is a white wall. If I flip it around, you've got the door on the rear, which I guess is what they are wanting. I'm not too sure, but then you look underneath and we've got the wooden floor, which should be on the inside. So I don't know if I'm building these wrong. I don't have any instructions, but I've built this one different to the burger. As you can see, we've got the back wall in the burger and we've also got the floorboards. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Am I building this right or wrong? I don't know, I don't have instructions, but either way, they look cool, they look good. Yeah, I like it. Now. Let's move on to the next one. So now let's move on to some of the signs. I'm gonna crack one of these open. We will get them all on a track eventually, but I'm gonna crack one of them open. So let's choose the, I wanna see the Pennzoil one. So let's crack this one open. And these should be really quick to build on camera. Again, same style material. Let's just punch them out. They should pop out quite easily. I'm doing this through the camera, so I hope I don't damage anything. And there's one. There's two, 
and there is three. Let's have a quick look at them. That's the Bridgestone. Yeah, the print is nice. On the back is white. Pennzoil. And we've got Hobby Classic. Now, I'm guessing you simply just put these through the feet like that and they clip in. Oh, that's cool. Let's put that one in. And last but not least, I'm not thinking I'm lining them up properly. There we go. And there you go. They stand up. That is cool. I think they look pretty good. So let me quickly clip all these in and we'll take a closer look. So here are all three, the Pennzoil, the Hobby Classic, and the Bridgestone. Now I'll personally put a dab of glue on each of the feet that are supporting the sign. Some fit nice and tight, some are nice and loose, but if you want to keep them permanent, I would put a dab of glue. But here is a Carrera 132 figure standing next to them, and I think it looks good. What do you think? I think my favorite is the Pennzoil, but you do have other designs, which I will flash up on the screen now, but I think those look good around any track. But yeah, pretty damn cool. But let's move on to the next. So next up, let's check out some more of their barriers. We've got two of the Hobby Classics and one of the slot scenery. So we'll move those two out the way. And let's crack one open, have a quick look at it. And these should be very simple to build. Now I do like the print again, same quality. It looks really good. We've got the plastic feet. I think it should be as simple as clipping those into place. And I do like simplicity. And I guess you can have the feet front ways or back ways. Is it the same length? Let's turn that around quickly. See if we can not get hit by cars as they go past. And there you go. Let's stand that down. There's one done. Maybe a little dab of glue would hold them in place. Let's do the second one. Drop him in there. Get that last guy out, he's nice and stuck. Drop him in there. And there you go, you got yourself some barriers. Simple, cool, effective. You do have the other designs, the slot scenery, plus of course the Hobby Classics again. I would like to see some customs in this, but simple, effective, and they work. Last but not least, let's check out the car display stands. Now let's use this one, because it does have a cutout. I just want to see how thick, ugh, that one's a bit harder to open up. So let's get him out nice and gentle. I don't want to damage the sides because it is quite thin. So this is quite thin. I'm guessing, would you sit this, would you sit this on a plate? Because once we put our beautiful Lotus in, it's still sitting high off the ground. So if I pick that up, it will drop through. But how would you use that? Would you put little feet? Should these come with little feet underneath or are these meant to be glued on top of a similar style bit of paper and you just etch that out yourself? I don't know, let me know in the comments, but it does have the cutout. It does sit on there nicely, but again, it doesn't have any feet. So once you put it down on the floor, it wants to pop out. Hmm, interesting, looks good though. The print quality, let's focus on that. Looks really good. How will I use this? I might get a bit of card and put it on uh, something a bit thicker than what it is and then I'll cut out the actual cutout myself so it will be a bit higher off the ground but for a display I think it works um, yeah yeah so there you go there is the first one the second one has got my head scratching because I'm not too sure let me open it up it is the same it does have cutout so unless I'm missing something here do they all link up with something else can you put borders around it? I guess you can. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you could probably, this one's going to get stuck. Hold on a tick, let's get him out. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you could probably buy add-on extras to put some walls around it. Maybe, I don't know. This one doesn't have a cutout, so I could be doing this wrong, but it doesn't have a cutout. So you will have to take the guide out. And again, you'll need it sitting on a base so the car doesn't fall through when you've got the guide on. So that one scratches my head a bit. How would I use this? Well, if it does come in a kit where you can build it up as a display, so you've got walls around it, maybe that will work. But at the moment, I'm a bit confused on this one. Let's talk print quality. Incredible, like the other ones, but I'm a little bit confused on how I would use this with a slot car. With a model car, it is beautiful. But for a slot car, unless I'm doing it wrong, maybe that's how I should do it. Hold on, Tick. Maybe that is how I should do it. Ah, am I doing it wrong? I don't know, because you can move that around everywhere then. Let's see how far I can go forward. There you go. But it, I think it looks beautiful. The print is good. You'd find a way to use this. Sit it on a block, sit it on a base, and it look beautiful. 
So that's a wrap on my close look at some of these slot scenery items. I want to say a big thank you to the team. They have sent these for an honest review. I'm not paid or sponsored by them. We did have some questions about how to build these. I mean, very easy, but I've got a back door on this one, which you can see in this one isn't. So I think instructions would help in the future. I couldn't find any. And also the use of these. I love the print quality on all of these. The quality of print is incredible, but do these come with added options? Can you build them up so the cars sit nice and flush? Not too sure. Will you see some of these on my track? Definitely. I think the product is really cool. It's a different take on what else is out there. And again, the quality is really good and simple. So yeah, that's a wrap on our slot sceneries look. Take care, be safe, bye.